one, whatever. All right, one thing of butter. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put it into here. I did the measurement before, so I'm gonna put this in, in micro to like for 45 seconds. So four, five, and start. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Um, wash my hands before I did this. Uh, I'm gonna grab an oven mitt so that way when it's done I'll be able to pull it out. Um. Alright, so after that's done I'm gonna make some uh, two dry ingredients, brown sugar and sugar. Okay, uh, so, oh, minute, stop. So, here's the melted butter. So, yeah, there is a hair in there that belongs to me. <laughs> um, Alright, um, anyways, we're gonna mix in the uh, next two ingredients. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a full tablespoon of brown sugar and sugar each. Not together. Oh wait, this is a teaspoon. What am I talking about? Oh. Um, so I'm gonna grab this is a tablespoon. So TBSP stands for tablespoon, TSP stands for teaspoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I'm gonna grab a knife to act as a flat edge. So I'm gonna hold it above the bag, like so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be very careful about this, and I'm going to scrape towards me because there's a gapping over here on this side. Um, so I'm gonna scrape like this. Okay. Scrape one more time. There we go. So you can see, or can you see? Uh, it is completely flat. Let me shade it so you guys can see. There we go. So. I think I'm going to put that in. Mm -hmm. Make the uh, one tablespoon brown sugar. Okay, so I'm going to put the one tablespoon of sugar in first. And then I'm going to tap this out of any uh, rem remnants, not that it really matters. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brown sugar, which I have to re-wet because, you know, brown sugar can become dry. Um, um, so, oh, so, yeah. So let's try and get this out. How about here? Okay. I'm gonna try and scoop out as much as possible. I might not have enough for the recipe, but it generally does require one full tablespoon. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use this for now. Try and flatten it as best as possible. Obviously, it's not a full tablespoon, so I'm gonna try and get what I can out of here. Um, I'm trying to scrape out what I can out of here. Uh, I'm saying the bag will be empty after this recipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. As you can see, I just folded it inside out. And I'm gonna scrape whatever I can off of the bag into here. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna grab my spoon again. And I'm gonna try and re-flatten it. That way I can see if I can get it done properly. So I almost have full tablespoon of brown sugar. Right. And so I'm gonna try and grab some remnants. We can always we can obviously see that there's some more. I'm probably actually gonna use my knife and scrape it off like that. Let's see if it'll work, shall we? Um, okay, so it's starting to work. Some of it's getting on my hands, but I don't care. I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards. So we got some on here, 
So now I'm going to scrape it into here. Make sure there's nothing left. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's like just like a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, brown sugar flattened in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it into here. Because now I have a full thing of brown sugar. Or a full tablespoon. If it's not coming out, that's okay. Just go ahead and use your uh, spoon or whatever. Get out whatever remnants there are and just scoop it out. Um, so yeah. Scoop along the edges and you'll see that you'll get a lot more out than it initially looks to be. Um, so here we can see we've gotten about 90% of it out. So yeah. Um, um, so now I'm going to throw out this. And next one calls mix the yolk until no traces of the yolk are seen. So I uh, crack the egg and uh, put in and put the yolk into here after separating the uh, yolk with whatever you know. So I'm gonna wash off the spoon that I have. I'm gonna wash it off very thoroughly. Um, use some soap actually, just to make sure I don't have anything now uh, left. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. But right, so. You want to be sure that you don't screw this up. As you can see, I put soap on here. I'm going to rinse it off after like a full like 30 seconds of rinsing and washing and whatnot. Go ahead and get off all the water as best as possible and start mixing the yolk. Mix in the egg yolk. Oh, mix in the egg yolk. Easy. A lot of people bring it for it. So I'm gonna put this into here. And I'm gonna try and get out everything. Scoop. Scoopy. Scoopy. Scoopy scoop. Scoop scoop. Okay, so now that everything's in there, now I'm going to mix it. So let's just start mixing. I like to do 20 uh, cup clockwise and 20 counterclockwise. Or 20 counterclockwise and uh, reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I've got to tell him something in high school. What the hell are you doing? We're, we're, we're beating, we're, we're beating the Oh, we're mixing. Oh, yeah, you're going to Yes, the egg yolk. Yes. Must be creamy. It's must be creamy. Smooth. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, first, shut up. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> so now, after we've done that, and after my family's done being dorks, uh, I'm going to want, rinse this off. And I might have to use a spoon again, I'm not sure. But now i got to use a tablespoon again. Now I have to really wash this out very carefully. Because you don't want any remnants uh, in case of cross-contamination or whatever the heck you want to call it. Soap! So I'm going to use soap. Only now you're on camera. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna start washing this, because why not? Um, so yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a Barbie girl. I'm a Barbie girl. Gosh. Okay. Um, Three tablespoons. Yes, I know. Thank you. Well, making sure you remember Mr. Know-it-all. Um, okay, now I just wash this off. Now I have to wash off this knife so I can use a flat edge over all over again. It's all about cleanliness, people. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry this off. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my flour, wherever that goes. Did I forget it? Oh. Where is it? <laughs> it was underneath the oven mat. <laughs> so I'm going to corner the flour as best as possible. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to open it up. And then I'm going to put my... One tablespoon in. You're lucky we have spare of that if you dump that. Yeah. Um, put one tablespoon in, as we can see here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack it. 
as best as possible. I'm going to use my flat edge. Go ahead and scrape it all off. So yeah. So as you can see here, that's all the flour that's in there. So now what I'm going to do. Do you have three tablespoons worth? Oh no, I gotta wait. Hold on. I have to put it in right. Three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Yes, I know. And yes, mix in the flour. Okay, so we're gonna do three tablespoons. Okay. So one. Okay. There's a one. Here comes a two. You know, I want to make sure you're very pre precise on this measurement. Efficiency is very important. Okay, so here's two. And here comes three. Must be extremely perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I know. The camera can't see. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yes, hello, it's me. <laughs> okay, anyways. So here's my third one. I'm gonna put that in. And then I'm going to mix it with a spoon. Spoon. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. So as we can see here, it's getting pretty mixed up. Uh, <laughs> Um. <laughs> so actually it's turning out pretty good right now check that out oh yeah actually it smells like a cookie sort of um. so now that I'm mixing up it's taking on an orange brownish complexion um. okay. now we need chocolate chips you pick a nibble one I kick your butt <laughs> one tablespoon worth so, I'm gonna put it in. Ugh. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm gonna mix it in. Fold in chocolate chips. Yeah, you mix it basically. Okay, well, I don't have a rubber scraper, so I'm just gonna mix it in. So, oh, so yeah. Mix, 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 mix. So, yeah. I'm so tempted to eat this right now, but I don't want to. If you're being sick. You will get extremely sick because there's raw egg in that salmon bowl. Yes. I mean, I don't, and do you remember that from what the teacher taught you? Yes. I hope you do. Okay. So. Here we go. Turning out pretty good. See some of the chocolate chips in here somewhere. Oh my god. Uh, uno momento. Oh, did you make a mess? I didn't mean to. I was trying to show the camera. Why are you going to show off the camera? Because I want to be. But that has raw eggs. Yeah. Ah. I gotta sneeze. Turn away. Wait, I got it, I got it. Turn away from the cooking. It still goes through my t-shirt. <laughs> Not Bluster. on me. Bless you. Now we have to wash our hands. Yes, please do. You also want to wash off the knife due to the fact that it has raw eggs. Go on. This is my... Hi, Rich. Transfer into a microwave safe mug, so it's okay used among the microwave. Okay, so now yeah, I've done this, I'm, room, I'm gonna transfer this uh, to, to, awesome. to an amazing mug. So, uh, but first, because I want to and I'm stingy, I want to scrape off the, all this off for the best experience possible. Well, you do that when you transfer it, though. Oh. <laughs> You're literally pouring it into another mug. You don't need to be clean about this yet. No, 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 I just want all the stuff in there. Yeah, but you do that when you put it in the other mug. Oh, you're not making sense because you got to use the spoon to scoop it into the other mug. Um, oopsies, miscompopulation there. Um, so yeah, let's go and put it into here. Use the spoon. It's gonna be a thicker consistency due to the brown sugar. Use the spoon. I know. Why are you taking so long? Because I want to. To add for dramatic effect. It's 816. The dramatic effect here is going to be me putting my foot up your butt if you don't get this done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so while well, that's going in, it's going in. Isn't this a micro safe cup? Microwave safe, yes, because it's Corel. Then why aren't I using this? 
Well, yeah. Both are microwave safe. Trust me, we've zapped plenty of months of coffee for Dad in those months. No, I know. I'm just wondering why I'm not using that. Because that was all chemic and it's messy, so when that zaps, it's going to be all crusty on the upper edges. Uh, so you want to clean slate when the cookie cooks. All right. I can tell when, it's, when I'm having a, when I'm having a bad morning and if I need it, I'll, I'll bring it with. But, so. Okay. But so here we go. So, how's everything at home? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and try and get out whatever the heck else is in here. So yeah, scoop along the edges, get the most out of it that you can. Yeah. You want all the cookie. Yeah, text me her phone number. All the cookie. Uh, yeah. There's somewhere in here, but you know what? I don't think it really matters. So whatever. Um, so that's all in here. I don't care. I'm using my fingers. Right. Um, now I'm going to cook it for want? 45 seconds. So let's go. Five. That is that. Uh, That's done. Why'd you say Oh, whoopsies! I said for forty-five minutes. Timmy. <laughs> Don't do that. Timothy, please. Four five. Sorry. That's it. Okay. So now what you do no. while you're waiting? Yeah. Clean up. Give me a break. We're gonna come out with freaking food crawling out of it. <laughs> <laughs> this out. Yeah, any empty uh, content bags you need to throw out. Um, rinse off your materials, rinse off the uh, workspace. This one I didn't use because I didn't need to use uh, butter or uh, salt, so I'm just going to put it back in. Flour, I'm going to get it all back into the bottom, I'm going to seal it back up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sponge and I'm going to collect all the excess flour that has spilled out accidentally. Because, you know, why not? Uh, did you possibly get raw cookie dough on the cutting board? Yes, I did get, I did, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse out the sponge of anything that I just cleaned up with it, such as flour. I'm going to put some soap on it, and then I'm going to rinse off the cutting board. Or not rinse off, next uh, soak down the cutting board. Make sure it's all frothy, and then go along. But also get it underneath the edges, because you don't want any mold or anything growing underneath. Because that would be very bad. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I've done that. I'm going to wash my hands of whatever sudiness is on there. What else did you do? Do you leave soap residue on there? No, that? I'm trying to figure out what to do. I gave you a towel, yes? Why not? Couple. No, I'm going to use a whole five rows. I mean, five rolls. Did I ask for sauce? <laughs> Okay, so. Okay, I'll get the under edges. Also, be very careful. Yeah. You want to get everything. Yeah. So. One more. One. Timmy, please stop wasting. No, no, no. There's some on the uh, actual counter. And now 
we shall taste our cookie in a mug. Shall we cook? Shall we cook? Oh, goodness gracious. It looks like a pancake. I can't tell. Just grab a fork and go eat it. Okay, I think I did it for long enough. I hope to God I did. Pull it out and show a piece to the camera. That way you can tell the uh, consistency. And here is the cookie. So, yeah. Now, yeah, so excuse me. 